Hey, what's happening out there, gym owners? I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend and enjoyed some uh, much-deserved time off with their friends and family. Maybe you even got to go to the beach and have a little sun and fun. It was a beautiful weekend here uh, in, in the Northeast, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed some time for themselves. Right? I know as a gym owner, you need it. So, one of the things I want to talk about today, oh, I'm not in the truck, all right? This is our truck talk, but we're not in the truck. Uh, for, I had to get on a call in the truck, and now I'm in the office, so it's office talk today. So, obviously, we get a ton of questions about marketing. As in most people's mind, you know, that's the most pressing need is I need clients. I need to make money, right? Clients equal money, right? But the reality is, is that there's a lot more to marketing than just like, hey, let's go out, let's throw some initiatives together and, and, and you know, shotgun whatever we can out in hopes of getting a bunch of clients that we can close. If you look at marketing a little bit more holistically and come up with a really good strategy that covers all the different bases of marketing, then um, then you're 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 going to do a lot better. You're gonna you're gonna market to better clients. You're gonna have more qualified leads. Uh, you're gonna close more. Um, you're you're gonna you're gonna you're not gonna be reactive. So your initiatives are gonna be set up ahead of time. So there's gonna be a lot of things there. So I kind of look at you know the old adage of who, what, where, when, why, how, all that type of stuff, right? really goes well with marketing so like who who are you marketing to right so like knowing your ideal client and marketing to the right person is super important right so so like us sending out sports performance messaging to a list of 50 year old you know moms probably isn't a good a good fit right so you have to be careful who you send the marketing to and what message you send it. what services are you marketing so you got who what what service are you marketing you know what are you what are you selling are you selling memberships are you selling personal training uh, are you selling the right services for the right people um, is it boot camp is it small group training right so you know and and what are the options within there keep it simple stupid have a really concise small list of really good offerings that you can fit your clientele into and then slide them up or down. So always have a fallback, always have an upsell, things like that. But what services are you marketing? Have you identified your front end offer, your primary offering, your back end offers or fast action offers and or, you know, special, you know, offers throughout the year, such as, you know, um, like a low barrier offer, like a six week transformation, a 21 day slim down or something like that. Where do I focus my marketing, right? What platform do I use? Is it belly to belly, getting out in the public? Is it public speaking? Is it emails? Is it flyers and mailers? Uh, is it social media? Is it a combination of things? You know, um, what I'm seeing nowadays is that most people in the gym space are defaulting to social media and forgetting about the other things. And I think that's a huge mistake. And we're going to talk about that in a second. And, and when do you speak to your audience? So like wh how often are you messaging? You know what I mean? And, and what type of, you know, information are you putting out? And what is the quality of that information? Right? Uh, why? Right? Are you answering the why for the, your clientele? Meaning like why should they buy from you? What, what, what benefits are they getting from training with you? What problem do you solve? What um what issue do you you know fix for them? What 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 problem will they continue to experience if they don't come and train with you and your services? So how does your how do you position yourself differently than other people so that your unique experience sets you apart? And when they look at your gym, they say, "Oh, that's the place I want to go train." Especially like when you look around us, there's 50 gyms in a 10 mile radius. What makes Varsity House unique, and why should they buy from you? And lastly, is how. how how do how do you how do you make it easy for clients to work with you? Right? What do you, do you have call to actions, or is your instant? This is what I see a lot. Is like you know because I'm talking about defaulting to social media, I see a lot of cool workout videos, but is there a call to action? So is a workout video of someone doing a 300 pound log press attracting a 40 year old woman to the gym no is is you know workouts of 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 you you know with your shirt off you know killing yourself in the gym attracting a normal you know 40 year old businessman who wants to come and get fit probably not right so so again you know 
are you making it easy for people to get started with you? Do you have concise call to actions? Are you using sales landing pages? Are you, do you have a follow up system, right? And, and and are you are you checking off all the boxes in the how department? And meaning, how do they get started with you? And how how easy do you make that process, right? Because we all know that in today's world, if you don't make it easy, right, it, it, within one second, if your web page doesn't load or like your sales page is off or or like the shopping cart doesn't load properly, see you, right? They're gone. So, so for today's quick lesson, let's focus on the where. Where do I focus my marketing, right? What are some of the platforms that I should be focusing on, right? And, and, and I always say, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I, I believe that we should start from the inside and work outward, right? And, and 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 starting inside and working outward means that I'm 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 just gonna start with the clients I have. So I'm gonna start with referrals, right? And and I'm gonna I'm going to um, start by trying to speak to the clients I already have, right? People I already know. Always start internal. They're gonna be your best, you know, salespeople and the easiest people. People who've already bought from you are either A, gonna buy more, or B, gonna refer a friend or more likely to help you get more clients. So start internally, right, with zero dollar spend and focus on referrals for a period of time. Then I like, then our number, our, for years our number one, you know, has always been referrals, but you know, uh, but our number one external marketing was, you know, email, right? We, we do really great with email and we have a consistent monthly newsletter that goes out. We send out about two to three emails a month to our general list, and then we send specific emails to male, female, athlete list, and things like that with pertinent content, always with some type of call to action as to you know what the next thing is in the gym, how to sign up, sign up for our six-week transformation, you know, be part of our team, those types of things, right? We do a great job with that, and, and, this, and the emails drive the majority of our business. Uh, number three for us is community outreach, getting out in the community, right? So going out and meeting business owners, meeting meeting coaches, right? Um, being at you know high school and, and junior sporting events and things like that. A town day, a 5K race, a 10K race, right? For over the years, we have gotten a tremendous amount of information, uh, a tremendous amount of clients from those types of events. Uh, In-person stuff, you know, speaking engagements, uh, you know, going to place to place on your own meeting people out right the only way you do that is to get out right so you know community outreach and in person kind of go together but getting out of the facility is key there and that's the one area that i just see in the gym industry because social media is so easy that everybody just defaults to that and forgets about getting out and actually connecting if you have a sports performance business it probably behooves you to get out and you know go to some sporting events and, and go to games and things like that uh, if you have an adult fitness program, then you got to get where the adults are, right? So hanging out at the coffee shops, the cafes, the hair salons, the nail salons, the places like that, the day spas, right? And getting out at the town, the, you know, lots of great adult clients can be found at 5Ks, 10Ks, sprint tries, you know, things like that, right? You know, community events, charity fundraisers, joint ventures, right? Joint ventures is another good one, right? Partnering up with another professional. Maybe you have a... A, a high level professional in your business who you know is you're looking to cross you know uh, pollinate each other's list and things like that right get some you know refer clients to each other so a joint venture can be really well we've done lots of different joint ventures for years one of the ones that we started was a charity foundation right our strongman foundation was a joint venture between the michael laviola strongman foundation and that was for charity and that's become this is going to be our 11th year running our strongman foundation it's become one of the cornerstones of our marketing and we're going to have you know close to 500 people here this summer and, and and hopefully raise a boatload of money for pediatric cancer so we're doing something great in the process and getting a tons of eyes in the community you know uh, uh to see what we do here at varsity house uh and last on my list is social media right because social media i we've only started paying for social media ads in the last two years right before that i never spent a dime on social media we would organically post and stuff but but we never spent a dime i focus my money where the people are going to get the most bang for my buck social media is easy but you could piss away a ton of money uh, without doing it properly. So 
Focus on referrals, focus on your email list, gang, and get out in the community. That's our number one, two, and three, always and forever, right? I don't care what social media is doing. That's going to be where we're going to get the majority of people to a brick-and-mortar gym. See ya.